The trucking industry is a tough nut to crack. The Tesla Semi is here, and it's about to drop a bombshell on the trucking industry. They said it was impossible, a fantasy on wheels. But Tesla's rolling out a massive factory to pump out 50,000 of these electric beasts annually. So is diesel history? Can electric really take over the long haul? In this video, we will get into the details and see how it's affecting the trucking industry. So stay tuned until the end of the video and subscribe to the channel. Industry insiders once dismissed the idea of a Tesla semi-truck as something out of a sci-fi novel. Skeptics including automakers were quick to call Elon Musk's ambitious plan for trucking mere fantasy. However, Tesla has silenced the doubters. The Tesla Semi is real and about to get a significant upgrade. A massive factory dedicated to the Tesla Semi is now under construction in Nevada, set to produce 50,000 trucks annually. This milestone marks a major turning point for the trucking industry, signaling a shift towards electric trucks. If Tesla achieves full production, it will surpass all US Class A truck manufacturers except Freightliners. This move will shake up the market, drawing truck sales away from traditional brands that can't match Tesla's range and capabilities. But the advancements don't stop there. The Nevada factory isn't just about producing the current Tesla Semi, it's also gearing up to roll out the next generation Semi 2.0. This model promises to push the boundaries further, with specs designed to outclass the competition. The current Tesla Semi is still in its pilot phase, with early units being delivered to Pepsi. Despite this, many details about the truck remain under wraps, adding to the intrigue surrounding Tesla's latest venture into the trucking world. Elon Musk still has many surprises up his sleeve when it comes to the Tesla Semi. Tesla is gearing up for a major transformation in commercial transportation. Dan Priestley, the senior manager heading semi-engineering at Tesla, confidently states that they are technologically ready and now is all about scaling up production. Tesla's pilot customer PepsiCo has started receiving 50 new Tesla semi-trucks to add to their fleet of around 36 vehicles. There are also sightings of other big names like Walmart and Costco testing these innovative trucks within their fleets. Despite these developments, Tesla keeps many of its semi-truck details under wraps, not wanting to give competitors any edge. They've been very picky about who gets the trucks, making sure rivals can't get one to dissect. They're also holding back on full specs for future customers because they might make some exciting upgrades soon. Tesla plans to revamp the Semi before going into mass production, which is set to start in late 2025 or early 2026. At the Alternative Clean Transportation Expo in Las Vegas, Dan Priestley heads the Tesla Semi program and reassures everyone that they're ready to ramp things up. He explained that the technology is all set for the big time. Priestley talked about two versions of the Semi, one with a 300-mile range and another with a 500-mile range. Tesla showed off the 500-mile version during a delivery event for Pepsi, where it drove 500 miles, fully loaded with 81,000 pounds. Pepsi also confirmed they managed to travel an impressive 1,000 miles in a single day with the Semi, proving it's a strong competitor against diesel trucks. Priestley shared that the smaller Tesla Semi weighs less than 20,000 pounds and the 500-mile version is under 23,000 pounds. This news has shocked many armchair engineers who've been guessing about the Semi since 2017. Some thought it would weigh around 45,000 pounds, making the government's extra 2,000 pound allowance useless. Others estimated at 31,000 pounds or even as low as 27,000 pounds. Some third-party experts believe the batteries alone would weigh 26,000 pounds, but that never added up. Even if you multiply the weight of an 85 kilowatt hour Model S battery by 10, it would still be half that weight. Plus, Tesla builds its battery packs from scratch, making them more compact and efficient. A 23,000 pound electric semi is a real game changer and pretty scary for the competition because it is comparable in weight to diesel trucks. This is a huge deal and could seriously shake up the trucking industry. Dan Priestley points out that Tesla semis can replace diesel trucks one for one, achieving the same amount of work without needing a larger fleet. This makes replacing diesel trucks easier than many believed. Traditional competitors have nothing like this. For instance, Freightliner, which holds 40% of the market 
share has an electric truck with a range of just 230 miles, less than half of what the Tesla Semi offers. Plus, it takes 90 minutes to charge Freightliner's truck to 80%, giving it just 184 miles. In comparison, the Tesla Semi can reach a 70% charge in just 30 minutes, providing 350 miles already more than Freightliner's total range. The Tesla Semi charges to double the range of a Freightliner in the third of a time, but the real game changer is the cost savings. Switching from expensive diesel to cheap electricity is a major selling point. Tesla claims customers can save $200,000 on fuel in the first three years. This substantial savings is likely to attract many customers looking to cut costs. Moreover, the Tesla Semi isn't just another truck. It's a game changer in the fight against fossil fuels. One of these giants can cover up to a thousand miles daily, which is pretty impressive. And while semis only make up a small chunk of the global vehicle fleet, they're responsible for 18% of emissions. That's like one semi being as polluting as 18 Model 3s combined. If Tesla cranks out 50,000 of these trucks, it's like hitting the road with 900,000 extra Model 3s, more than what Tesla is currently producing. So yeah, the impact on the fossil fuel industry will be huge. But while it's shaking up the fuel game, it's also slashing costs for commercial transportation. And that's music to the ears of consumers who've been feeling the pinch of non-stop price hikes, partly because of sky-high transport costs. So the Tesla Semi isn't just good for the planet, it's also a win-win for your wallet. To back up their ambitious plans, Tesla is rolling out new mega chargers on a large scale, starting with routes used by Pepsi. This move ties into Tesla's reorganization of its supercharger network, which includes Elon Musk axing the supercharger growth team. But let's get real. Tesla Tesla controls every electrical outlet on the planet. Plus, superchargers still work just fine. According to Dan Priestley, installing supercharger capacity costs Tesla about $500 per kilowatt. And get this, Tesla plans to shell out a cool $500 million this year on charging infrastructure. That's enough to set up around a thousand megachargers, each boasting a hefty one megawatt power. But Tesla won't foot this entire bill alone. They'll split the cost with the rest of Tesla's charging business. Last year, considering the cost per kilowatt, looks like Tesla spent around $1.5 billion on charging infrastructure. Based on these numbers, they're slashing spending this year by a third. Keep in mind though, that this is just for new chargers. It doesn't cover operating the existing fleet. Elon Musk has clarified that he wants to dial back on adding new charging sites and focus more on improving uptime and expanding existing locations. It makes sense since Tesla's network is already pretty vast and has prime locations. Even competitors like Ford's Jim Farley have praised Tesla's supercharger spots, with Ford being one of the first automakers to adopt Tesla's KNX standard to tap into this network. While supercharger spending will be down, Tesla will need to gear up its mega charger network, the influx of 50,000 new semis each year, starting around 2026. Luckily, building a commercial mega charger network might be easier than a consumer focused one. Tesla can leverage partnerships with commercial customers to install chargers along trucking routes and truck stops. They might even add mega chargers to existing locations, eliminating the need for new real estate to support trucks. Smart move, right? Tesla has another major customer testing the Semi themselves. Tesla uses semiconductors to transport battery packs from the Gigafactory in Nevada to Fremont, California. Their first-hand experience will help them support new use cases for the Semi, something they're excited to bring to their customers. Dan Priestley mentioned car hauling, which Tesla already does a lot for transporting their vehicles. They also aim to support electrified reefer trailers, adding another innovative feature to the Tesla Semi lineup. Now on to the nitty gritty, Tesla's new Semi TR factory will churn out upgraded trucks. Currently the Semis use 2170 battery cells, but Elon Musk wants to reduce the battery size while maintaining range. This could mean a lighter vehicle capable of carrying even heavier loads. With Tesla building a new factory from scratch, they're set to bring their latest Gigafactory tech to the Semi production line. Investors are eating this up too. Tesla stock jumped 6% on the announcement, although it'll be a while before the factory's ready, but they see the potential. So how do you think Tesla's weight reductions will be for the future of electric trucks? It's an exciting time for the electric truck revolution, and Tesla's leading the charge. Now, what do you think about this? Share with us in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.